you have, you know, in fact, there's a scripture in James that says in James chapter 3, and it says that, that the tongue reflects him that is spiritual or him that is mature. In other words, the sign of spiritual maturity, one of the key signs of spiritual maturity is what's coming out your mouth. What you saying? That's why it's so easy to locate folk when, when you evangelize. As soon as you evangelize and you talk to somebody, you give it about 30 seconds to a minute, you can locate people like, I can locate people like that. Like that. Easy. Do it every time. Go out here every time. It's easy. Why? Because your mouth betrays you. It does. It really does. So what I'm saying is, God is saying, here is our example. Don't sit back and come up, Pastor, that's too hard for us. Uh, the Jesus, God would have never told us to do it if we couldn't do it. And, and notice what he did. He sent us a helper to help us do it. The only question is, are we, are we allowing him to help us? Are we allowing the Holy Spirit to help us watch our mouth? Somebody say amen. amen. And then letter E says, this is a good place for letter E. It says, oh, by the way, yes, now faith. By the way, notice a letter D before I get to E. It says, don't doubt, right? Don't doubt, right? And I told you that Jesus only spoke the will of God, so he had no doubt that what he was saying was, he could be authoritative because he knew he was in the will of God, so he could be authoritative. I mean, think about this. Jesus told that uh, demonic spirit out of that boy that was deaf and dumb in Mark chapter 9 to come out. Now, if he had any doubt that it was the will of God that that demonic spirit would come out, he couldn't have been that authoritative. Mm -hmm. And you can't have any doubt about that either. Mm -hmm. You see somebody, they're not in their right mind, you see somebody that's demonically possessed, you better charge that demon to come out. Because what did the word of God say? This is that we can, in the name of Jesus, we can cast out demons, right? Amen. Somebody say in Jesus' name, Jesus. come out. Amen. See, because if there's any doubt, it's not, there's going to be a problem. And notice it says in Mark chapter 11, the end of verse uh, 23, it says, And shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatever he says. Shall not doubt in his heart. Watch this now. Believe that those things which he says, when? Right then. Now. Believe that those things that he says, when? Now. Will come to pass, when? Later. See, you have to believe that those things that you're saying now will come to pass and manifest later. Because if you believe that what you're commanding will, if you believe that what you're commanding now, then it shall come to pass later. Amen? Yes. It, you, but you have to believe it now. Yes. Then it shall manifest and come to pass later. Right. Notice, letter E says, have now faith. There it is. Have now faith. Have now faith. It's no accident that in, in Hebrews it says, now faith is. Now faith is now and is. Both of them together. Now faith is. What is is? Now. Now. This faith is surrounded by two nows. Now faith is. I was like saying now faith now. Now faith is. Is is now. Is is not later. Is is not was. And is is not will be. Is is now. Amen. Amen. Say faith, faith is, now. is now. So now faith. Have, have, have the now faith. Faith is the present substance of the future hope. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, right? Well, when do you hope for it? In the future? No. No. You hope for it now. And then it manifests later. Yeah. Now, faith is the substance. In other words, your hope, your hope becomes concrete and certain when? Now. The manifestation reveals itself later. But the manifestation will never reveal itself later if you didn't have the faith and the certainty when? Now. So, faith is the present substance of future hope. And it is the certain uh, belief in, it is the present substance of future hope and the present evidence 
of unseen material. I'm going to say that again. Faith is the present substance of future hope and is the present evidence of unseen material. In other words, it's the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not yet seen. So even though, like the fig tree, that, that, they, that they couldn't see dead above the ground, they Jesus, when he said it, he knew it was right then, and even though it wasn't apparent to the natural eye above the surface, it was now. Somebody say now. Now. So church, we're going to have to start being uh, military-minded, and we're going to have to start being now-minded. We're going to have to be the people of, of now and the people of power and the people of authority. And it's, it's, gotta, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mind change. It's a mindset change. When that man said, Jesus, all you have to do is say the word, and I believe it's done. Jesus wasn't at the man's house. The man's house was a way, ways away. He said, if he, he said, if you say the word, he was believing that 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 not so much just that Jesus' word would do it, but that Jesus was authorized to say something and that he had he had backup. By his military command. You need to understand. The same thing is true here. If, if I leave a, a Minister Ken in charge. When I'm gone. You need to understand that if he walks and says. Now we need to move these chairs right now. Then that's what we need to do right now. Because why? Because you said well pastor left him in charge. He has the backing to make this thing happen. So therefore let's make it happen right now. This is the same thing God is saying. When you when you know that the what the will of God is. You move forward in confidence. You speak in authority, and you believe that it will happen now. Even if, even if he comes in and he says, "Pastor needs uh, to, to to have these chairs all moved into the sanctuary," and he walks away and goes off for the rest of the day, he should trust that his command, based on the the chain of command, will be carried out because that's how an army works. My time is up, and I thank you for yours. Amen. We gotta have a military mindset. And we got to do things and have a faith that is now. Lord, we thank you on tonight.